From the deep has washed ashore on Catalina. It's called an oarfish, one of the longest fish in the world and one of the lowest profile. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes shows it to us. It's 15 feet of sea serpent sushi. Dang. Ooh. Oh, it's crazy. And though no one is looking to eat this thing, scientists like Annie McCauley are definitely feasting on the discovery of this oarfish, which isn't just rare. It's very rare. McCauley is the founder of the educational nonprofit Mountain and Sea Adventures. When she heard an oarfish washed up on Catalina Monday morning, she rushed over to see it. I've lived on the island for over 20 years and I'm, I'm on the water all the time doing research and teaching with the kids and I've never seen one. McCauley puts this one around 15 feet but says they've been known to reach more than 50 feet long. And take a look at what these guys really look like when they're alive. Oh my gosh. It's rare video because oarfish usually spend their time deep below the surface, really deep. They're usually found between 600 and they say up to about 3,000 feet deep. Which is why you won't find them swimming around any aquariums, though you can check out this 14-footer preserved at the Natural History Museum of L.A. County. It's hard. Rock hard. Ah, uh, the oarfish has a rich history. Back in the old days, sailors used to think they were sea serpents. And these days, there are plenty of people who think oarfish can predict, yep, earthquakes. In Japan, they really believe whenever there's going to be a, an earthquake, the seismic activity possibly going on down in the deep would cause them to come to the surface. Of course, Macaulay says there's little science supporting that theory, but do note this oarfish finding comes shortly after The Rock's new movie shook theaters across the country. Okay, it's a stretch, but that's what oarfish are known for. In San Pedro, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness.